I'm Nitin and today in this PSLE 2015 paper 2 question series, I'll be going through question 14. In my channel, I aim to help you all master all those concepts out there and think beyond the boundaries for really tough questions. Okay, so let's dive straight into question 14. So question 14, this question is testing us on the concept of circles, okay, circles. And this question, I'll be going through part A right now, and later in this video, I'll go through part B. So there are two parts, part A and B, okay? So, let's read the question first. The figure shows a path of width 2 meters. Okay, width means breadth, okay? In a rectangular garden of length 28 meters. The outline of the path is made up of quarter circles with center W, semicircles with center Z, and straight lines so wx equals yz okay so part a they are asking us what is the width of the rectangular garden okay so this is the image over here okay so this is what they have given us to solve this question so now that we have read the question let's solve it no we should not solve it we should yes we should Highlight the key information. Yes, you are correct. Okay, so the figure shows a path of width 2 meters in a rectangular garden of length 28 meters. The outline of the path is made up of quarter circles, okay, with center W, semicircles with center Z, okay, and straight lines. So, Wx equals Yz. Part A. What is the width of the rectangular garden? Okay. So, we have highlighted the key information. Now, let's analyze the figure. So, they have told us that the path, the width is 2 meters over here. So, basically, all the area is 2 meters. Okay. Everywhere you go, the width is 2 meters. Okay. So, you got to get that straight in your mind. Okay. If not, it will be really hard to solve this question. So everywhere it is 2 meters. Okay. So this is a very important notice. So it will help us solve this question later on in this video. Okay. So we have analyzed the width and they are asking us to find the path's width we have analyzed and they are asking us to find the width of the garden. So the rectangular gardens, the width is here. The width is basically the breadth. So they are asking us to find this big area. Okay, they are asking us to find this. So now we need to find the now that we have analyzed the figure a little bit more, let's move on to solving the question. Okay. So, we need to find the radius in order to find the width of the rectangular garden. Do you know why? Because this radius over here, wait, let me use a different color so that it will be easier for you guys to see. So, I'm using a green color, okay? So, this radius over here, this is a radius, right? Is equal to this radius over here, okay? And the radius is also over here. And here it is 2. So there are basically one radius and there's another radius here plus 2 cm. Wait, sorry, it's not cm. It is um, meters. 2 meters. Okay, so this is what we need to solve the question. So the most important thing is we need to find the radius, right? We need to find the radius. So what we need to do is... Okay, see the radius over here? So let's highlight the radiuses in the line. Okay, after I highlight, I hope you can see something. Okay, so there's our radius there, radius here. And another radius here. So there are three radiuses. So we know that the length is 28 meters, right? And over here, there is 2 cm. 2 meters gap here. 
So basically, we can find three radiuses by taking 28 meters minus 2 meters minus 2 meters. Okay? So 3 radius is equal to 28 meters minus 2 minus 2. Okay? So it is 24 meters. Okay, so three radiuses are 24 meters. So just like unit, we must always find one of them. So let's find one radius. So one radius is equal to 24 meters divided by 3, which is equal to 8 meters. Okay, now that we have found that, let me um, just, let me use the blue color, okay? So this is what we need to find here. So radius, and we need to find one okay, sorry so we need to find over here it is radius plus two okay so basically what does that mean so in order to find the width we we know the radius length right is eight meters so eight meters plus two meters so eight meters over here plus two meters over here plus eight meters over here plus two meters which will give us 8 plus, so 2 plus 8 plus 8 plus 2. So that's how we get the width. So finding one radius is crucial to solving this question. So one big line over here is 10 cm, uh, 10 meters, and one big line over here is 10 meters. So the width is basically 20 meters, okay? So this is how we solve the question. So 10 meters over here, 10 meters over here, both of them add up to 20. So this is a very important part in solving the question, okay? And so just to keep in note, right, in case if you have forgotten, the 2 meters came from here and the radius came from over here, okay? So we basically just move it here. Okay, I hope you understand that. So that is basically what we did. So now that we have solved part A, let's move on to part B. Okay, so this is question 14, part B. Okay, so let's read the question first. So they have asked us to find the area of the path. So they have asked us to take pi as 3.14. Okay, so over here you can see something. I've put area equals 3 of these plus 1 rectangle okay they are asking us to find the area of the path so do you agree with this statement over here yes i you sh if you have agreed you're right so basically there are one of these here one of these here okay another here all of them are identical okay another here next the last one over here so these three are identical right so these things plus the last one which is the rectangle so this is what they have asked us to find. So this is the area. So this is why it is three of these things, three of these these things, and plus one rectangle. So I might say it as a arc plus another arc. See the the larger arc plus another arc, and we just put the lines in between. So this is what I consider it as. So it will be really easy to find the area from now on. So this is what we need to do to find the area of this thing over here. Okay, so if you can see this big quarter circle, right, this big quarter circle, we just need to take this big quarter circle minus this small quarter circle over here, which will give us this red color. Okay, so this is how we do it. So big quarter circle minus small quarter circle equals to this thing. So basically, in order to do it, we need we need to take big quarter circle minus small quarter circle times 3. Because there are 3 of these, right? 
okay so this thing in a total way we we need to know the area of finding a circle so area of circle let me write that down area of circle but for quarter circle let me write quarter so for quarter circle it is how long so what we need to do is pi r square so this is the area for a normal circle times one quarter so this is the area of a quarter circle so the area it is equal to one quarter times 3.14 times 10 times 10 so 10 is the radius so radius square is 10 times 10 so that is why which will give us a certain number minus one quarter times 3.14 minus eight times eight times eight so eight square which is eight times eight is the radius so basically it will give us 28.26 meters square so this is only for one of them okay now we just need to find the rectangle the rectangle is really easy because we already know the length and breadth it is 10 meters and 2 meters right so length times breadth is equal to 10 times 2 which is equal to 20 meters square and the area for this is 28.26 meters square so now in order to find the total area we just need to take this times 3 plus this rectangle okay so total area of the path is equal to 3 times 28.26 meters square plus 20 meters square which is equal to 104.78 meters square so this is the answer for part b okay so i hope you understand my explanation for part a and b for question 14 and thank you and bye bye i'll see you in my next video bye